A very pleasant good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the People's Forum of In the Streets with Big Stone. We're still on the case of people with unsound mind. Something must be done for these people other than actually killing them when they're caught doing something irrational. There's a man that was killed in Portmore recently and it was reported that this man had killed his mother. Let's go to the gleaner for this one. A man believed to be of unsound mind who allegedly murdered his 46 year old mother in Greater Portmore, St. Catherine, was fatally shot early Tuesday morning after going on a rampage in which he attacked security guards and hijacked a motor vehicle. The mother, identified as Omega Bent, died while receiving treatment at the Spanish Town Hospital. Her son, Khalil Bent, was pronounced dead at the same hospital hours later. The incident has once again turned scrutiny on Jamaican mental health issue, with several persons being killed or wounded by the mentally ill over the last four months. At least four mentally ill attackers have been slain after confrontation. Professor of Mental Health Policy Wendell Abel said the state can only take action when the family members reach out for help. We cannot just say a lack of intervention by the state because the crisis intervention services can only respond when family members call. So we are all responsible. There are several actions that can be taken along the way and in many instances family members do not call early and in other instances the crisis service do not respond as early as they should, Abel told the Gleaner on Tuesday. Abel, who heads the Department of Community Health and Psychiatry at the University of the West Indies Mona said that Jamaica's ratio of investment in mental health care was higher than comparable countries in Latin America and the Caribbean. I lighten the expansion of community treatment and access to scores of health centers island-wide. He urged family members of the mentally ill to source free medication through the National Health Fund. Bent reportedly went to his mother's home where he struck her with a stone before walking more than three miles in the nude to Phoenix Park where he attacked a security guard sitting in a Toyota Succeed motor car, smashing the windscreen in the process. As the guard fled, Bent commandeered the vehicle but crashed into a Toyota IS Minimus driven by a businessman. He reportedly tried to attack an armed guard affiliated with the same company who had responded to assist his colleague. The guard allegedly fired several shots in Ben's direction and he was later found lying on his back suffering from gunshot wounds. Jace McKay, managing director of McKay's security company, while declining to speak in detail on the incident, expressed sympathy with the family of the 46 year old woman. What happened to the lady was very terrible. Something needs to be done about people who display signs of mental illness out here killing people, McKay said. Wow, wow, wow. First I must offer my condolences to the lady, Miss Bent, for losing her life because of her troubled son. As son, I don't think that if he was of sound mind it would really hurt his mother because a mom is very close and dear to any son. I love my mom dearly until her death in 1989. As I was reading this part of the newspaper, the gentleman that is responsible is saying that nothing can be done unless a family member report that they have a problem with their offspring. So what about the, the common people? What about the citizens who complain to the police from time to time that I was just attacked by a man of unsound mind? I was just hit by a man of unsound mind? You're trying to tell me 
that the police or the relevant authority cannot act based on information of private citizens? Nothing can go so. If there is a man of unsound mind wrecking our in the community, it is the responsibility of the health department and the police department to take this man into custody and to make sure that this citizen of Jamaica get the best care so they can get back to normality. As we all know, this beautiful country is bleeding. And one of the last things that we would want to do is to set a trend to having to kill or take out people of unsound mind. In the last three or four months, we have lost four members of the public. You know, one was a police officer and the others were citizens were actually killed by men of unsound mind and in return these four attackers all of them were slain so we have not just lost four citizens but eight citizens four were normal in their mind and four were abnormal in their mind and their way of thinking jamaica people of unsound mind goes like that every single day the high cost of living, the high crime, the high uh, stress rate in Jamaica is sending a lot of people to the madhouse. We need to do something. I remember a couple of years back where the health minister said over 45% of Jamaicans have some insanity problem or the other. We need to take a serious look at this. We need to save our citizens, those who are insane and those who are not. Please, I need to hear from all of you guys in the comment section below. Please let me hear how you feel about this. Because Jamaica is bleeding left, right and center. And we need to stop this as soon as possible. Please like and share this video. And if you have not yet, subscribe to my channel. Now is the time for you to do so. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.